Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Easy69 and welcome back to the channel, another top 5 episode and today we have the top 5 things that you didn't know about Blitz. Uh, we're going to kick off, now don't forget some of these you may know, it depends on how active you are in the game, how long you've been around um, and etc etc but most of my viewer base are sort of newer players um, and it's things that they might not know so the first thing is did you know that wargaming used to do things for the community um, like this there is an easter egg on mayan ruins of a tog that says to edu, edu race now edu race now edu race was a well-known player uh, who absolutely loved his tog sadly he passed away a few years ago but fair play to wargaming they put a tog easter egg on mayan ruins well done to them uh, big big respect on that note of respect from Wargaming, what they also did, there was an old contributor. He still plays the game now, uh, What Blitz Nicholas. He's a Turkish channel. Go check him out. Um, he used to be a CC back in the day. Uh, one day, we all logged into the game and we got this message in our garage. Now, what he actually did was propose to his uh, girlfriend at the time in the game how romantic and of course she said yes so well played on that part for wargaming they haven't done anything like that ever before and i don't think they'll ever do that again but those were two things that i thought that you guys probably wouldn't have known unless you're close to these people or unless you've been around a while uh, so well played next thing uh, again uh, this is for the newer sort of players did you know that there, when Wargaming in, in, in Blitz had uh, plus two, minus two matchmaking quite a few years ago now, there were three tanks. There were three tier eight tanks. In, to in fact, there was actually five in total, I think. Um, but two of them were tier four and three of them were tier eight. That all had preferential matchmaking. And what I mean by that is plus two minus two so tier eight tanks saw tier 10 in battle but there were three tanks that only saw tier nine because there wasn't as strong like penetration wise the armor was okay on the tanks um but that's what kind of made some of these tanks really really good like the is6 which had the preferential matchmaking so the is6 would never see tier 10 which why when i first started everyone would roll out in double is6s because you would never see tier 10. nowadays it's i mean it's like that anyway um so it actually lost its preferential matchmaking when wargaming decided to remove the plus two minus two in that list of the three tanks was also the KV-5. This also, again, had preferential matchmaking. Just like the IS-6, it never saw tier 10. Now, the penetration on this thing wasn't the greatest. The armor, I mean, it worked back then. Now, I now this is probably one of the worst premium tanks in the game. The armor is okay, as you can see. This battle, I mean, I've bounced 1,300 damage. But it doesn't work like it once was. Uh, and again, there's no different to these these tanks it only sees tier 9 it never saw tier 10 so what was the other tank on this list with the preferential matchmaking now i believe it was the type 59 again this tank didn't have the the penetration but it did have the armor profile it was really really good and it was one of the first actual premiums in the game uh, there was a few others apart from the tech tree tanks obviously take off all them this was actually one of the first premium tanks in the game so it had the preferential matchmaking which was really good back then this tank was really really sort of overpowered everyone loved it everyone wanted to get everyone that wanted it um sorry everyone wanted to get their their hands on it uh, and it was actually very difficult to get their hands on it. I actually got mine through Skate Extreme. He did a charity event uh, quite a few years ago now and where all the highest donators would receive a tier eight tank of their choice. I donated a few hundred pound. I was one of the highest and I chose to get myself uh, a Type 59 uh, because I really wanted it, didn't have it, uh, and so it, I ended up getting it. The other two tanks that had preferential matchmaking, should I say not had, 
they still have, which is the Panzer B2 in tier four, and also the Valentine in tier four, the two collectible tanks in tier four. Now those preferential matchmaking uh, was a bit different to these three tanks, and what I mean by a bit different is they never see higher tier so if you roll out in the panzer b2 which sometimes wargaming sell it they haven't sold it actually that long ago uh, maybe even a few days ago uh, you would always be tier 4 you would never be tier 5 now that was fun back in the day and it still is now but it's not as fun now it still has that preferential matchmaking so you would still never see tier 5 in the thing so what we used to do is double them roll out in platoons of Panzer B2s and you're in a platoon that would never be higher, uh, ne never be bottom tier. So that was fun. Uh, of course, if you run a Panzer B2 with something else in tier four, you would see tier five. Um, also, something that you may have not known. Uh, did you know that a few years ago now, Blitz Wargaming actually implemented the gift store where you could actually gift a, a tank or gold or anything like that to a friend of yours. Um, now, when Wargaming did this, this was literally only implemented into the game for a few hours or a few days before Wargaming removed it because what people were doing were buying people tanks and then they were issuing, getting sort of chargeback, getting refunded from PayPal, etc. So it was a bit of a messy scene back then so wargaming just removed the gift store completely and have never put it back but when wargaming first added the gift store literally i was there waiting for this gift store instead of putting the the is6 in the gift store where you could gift an is6 to someone they accidentally put the is6 fearless and when I mean gift store, you could actually gift tanks to yourself. So that is how I actually purchased the IS-6. I gifted it to myself. Wargaming then removed my tank uh, because it was an accident, gave me the gold back, and then a few days later, they realized that actually it was their fuck up. They're gonna give me my tank back and they let me keep my gold. So basically, this was free. Yep, it was free. And uh, one more thing that maybe you didn't know about Blitz, and even today I asked a couple, of, or yesterday I asked a couple of people if they knew this, and they didn't actually know it. Did you know, back in the day when I first started, you see all these walls uh, that could break, that you could shoot through the walls, um, buildings that break, etc. You used to never be able to shoot through walls, crates, anything, fences. So you could have a Jaegeru, like Martin said, in against tier eight in a Persian. If a Persian was hid behind a fence and a Jaegeru hit the fence, the fence would actually stop the shell. So the Jaegeru would do no damage. Of course, nowadays in age, all you, you all people know is that heat and HE does splash damage. So of course, hiding behind a fence or anything like that would stop the HE shell or the heat. But note, back then, it was literally all kind of shells. AP, APCR, if you shot a fence, if a tank was hiding behind a fence and you shot the fence, it would literally just do nothing. So yeah, those are the top five things that I think that you didn't know about Blitz. Let me know some things in, in what you would recommend adding to this top five. I mean, it could a list. the list could go on and on and on. There's loads of things that you probably didn't know about blitz let me add another one just for good measure just a bonus thing everyone knows about the kenny otsu right everyone knows how op the kenny otsu with with its two second or so magazine reload wargaming actually pulled it from sour after a couple of hours because they realized they had fucked up massively the kenny otsu's uh, auto loader um, magazine reloads in two seconds around about two seconds it was actually supposed to be nine seconds. Yeah, that's why everyone wants the Kenyatsu. So I hope you enjoyed the top five guys. Again, let me know in the comments what you think were top five things that people didn't know about Blitz. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meadzy and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.